Hi guys, Cheryl Baglioli here with Gel Press, and today I'm going to show you a technique on how to use one of our new impressibles. Our new Gel Press impressibles were debuted at the Creativation Show in Phoenix this January. They are so much fun to play with, and there are so many possibilities of things that you can do with this. This is just going to expand your gel printing tenfold. So I hope that you really enjoy it. Today the one that I'm going to be using, mine's dirty but you can see it anyway, it is the Impressible by Gen Star Studios and this one here is called Repeat Circles. So you can see that the circles are repeating and you see that mine are, I've got paint on mine but I'm going to show you some things that you can do with that as well. So let's get right to it. Let's play with these. I'm going to show you a technique now and then we're going to come back Saturday and I'll show you what you can do with these techniques you're going to learn. So stay tuned. We're going to be showing you new things each week. Okay, so what I want to show you is how fun this repeating circles is to play with. Don't pay attention to the fact that my plate is dirty. That's okay. I don't clean mine half the time. I use them for pickup prints and if you don't know what that is make sure you check out Donna Salazar's video last week on how to get grungy pickup prints. So this one here has the repeat circles that Jen designed and she did it so cleverly that you see that you've got rings and you have circles. So if I took this and if I stamped down on a piece of paper so that I've got this little circle in the corner and then I loaded it back up again, picked it up and printed down, these rings are going to cover these circles. So let's see, let's play with a couple different things that you can do with these and see what we get. So I'm going to add a little bit of this heavy body paint, Dina Wakely's Tangerine. And because this is embossed and debossed with all these circles, so you can see all those little circles down there, I'm going to really work this paint into this plate. So I really want to get down in there. I want to get make sure that the paint is all the way down in. And maybe I need just a tiny bit more. It's easier to always add more than it is to take away. So let's just add add some more paint. Really get this to go all the way down. Okay. Work it in. But I want it nice and even. And I love this because you can just really, I mean I can rub real hard. I can just abuse this plate because it's a gel plate. Now I'm just cleaning off my brayer on my journal page so that I've got a background ready to go. Now if I took this because it's on a block, I can pick it up and actually stamp with it. So I could just take it and give a little press. Now by just pressing down with a stamp, I'm mostly going to get just the rings themselves. And I'll show you the difference. So give it a little press. You don't have to press really hard. I just want to make sure that I press evenly. And you see I get those nice little rings. Now my table's probably crooked, so it picked up more there. But you got these nice rings and circles. So now, if I take this same plate, so I lifted it like that, so I'm going to just... Now I'm going to add another color to it. Now this time, maybe I'll use a fluid acrylic, just because I want it a little bit lighter more fluid cover. So I'm just working some out on an 8x10 gel press plate so I can use it to transfer the color. Now I just want to let the brayer do the work for me so I'm just going to roll it across the top and I just really want to hit the tops of these circles and rings. I'm not pressing very hard this time because I don't want it to get all down into the grooves. So I just want to make sure that I get all of those coated. So just a real light touch. Clean off your brayer. Remember to always clean your brayer and then turn it upside down. So before we pressed and we did like this. So now if I give it a quarter turn 
and try to line these up. My plate's so dirty I can't see through it really well, but we're gonna do our best. And we're gonna wing it and brace whatever it is that we get out of here. So I'm gonna just line this up, give it a quarter turn. Give a good little press. Okay. And they're off centered, but that's kind of cool. I like that. That's because I didn't line it up straight. It has nothing to do with the design. So you can see that you got this color on color that we have going on here. So you can get repeat circles inside of one another. So what else can you do with this? Well, if we take this and let's put some orange back in it. Okay. I'm going to work that again back down in those little grooves. I still got plenty of paint because this is a heavy body, so it takes a little bit longer for it to dry, but I want to really ink this up. So I've got paint on here. Now we could work with this, and I'm just going to mix this heavy body right with that fluid paint and just get this worked out onto. Let's add some more color for some fun interest with this as well. Give a little contrast here. Ooh, yum. Aren't those colors beautiful together? I love it. Okay, smooth it out, clean your brayer. Now, you could also use it to pick up paint. So we could take and actually press it right on top of our plate and give a little press into our plate. Now when we do a print, we're gonna get those circles. Through. See how they're just kind of peeking through because I rubbed real, I just did real light touch. I love that. Just it's just a little bit. It picked up a little bit of that orange, some more of that, those colors, but it lifted. So we've got a little bit of a lift here. And then if we press again, let's see what we get. Give it a nice little rub. This time I'm pressing harder because I want to get more of the paint off of the plate. So I'm giving a little bit more pressure. Oh, yum. Now, look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? So now I've got a couple things going on here. I have the circles from pressing this and lifting paint away, and I'm picking up old paint that was on my gel press already. That, I think, is one of the best prints I've ever pulled. I love that. Isn't that? Uh, don't you love it when you excite yourself when you're doing this? So we've got a couple things going on there. So now I still have a lot of paint on here. So I'm going to take this one and I still have different colors. So if I give this one instead of stamping it this time, this time I want to give a really good rub to this one. And you could use a brayer if you want and get down in there with the brayer. But I just like using my hands because I want to make sure that I get down in all those little grooves and give it a good little massage. Give it a little rub, get all down in there. So this time we should get multiple colors and the pickup print from the older one as well. So hopefully we'll get a good, a good little lift here. Yum. So there you go. So you can see that you see these little bits and pieces that it's picking up. And then you've got the orange and you've got the green that we had from stamping it onto this plate. So you've got a couple different colors going on there. And I still have paint on here. So let's get a ghost print and see what we get from there. So again, just give it a nice little rub. Work it through. see what we can get and I'm rubbing really hard now because I want to get up all that paint so take your time I find this very therapeutic just 
give it a little massage, work it in there. And I'm just using regular copy paper. There we go. Isn't that pretty? So if I now, so now I'm getting all of those little circles and rings. And I think that we can add another color to this. So let's add something a little bit more contrasting and do another pickup print right on this. I think I'll go back to this color so that we stay all in the same color family and add just a tiny bit of green to that. And again, I'm just gonna use my plate here to distribute the color so that I can just pop it right on top. I want that a little brighter. That's the beauty of this. You can make it as custom it, customize it as you're going along. So we're just gonna kinda bounce right across the edges here. Not too hard. And this will just give a little bit of a contrast. So now, now you can see through it a little bit easier. So we should be able to line these up a little bit better. And I might have gotten it a little crooked there to begin with. There we go. So line it up. Give a little press. And while it's still wet, if I want to get more of those colors underneath, I can just pick it up and just give a little rub. It didn't move it at all. Try to get, now let's see what we're going to get. Oh, yes. So there you go. So we've got, out of just doing a couple of prints with a little bit of paint, we have a few different designs here. So let me lay them out so you can see what we were able to accomplish. This is what I did earlier. So there you go. So you can see here that the rings and the rings, the repeating circles, does a lot of fun little prints. And if you don't clean your plates, you get all these yummy bits of color that start coming up. I love this very subtle one where we just took the plate and we stamped it into the 8x10 with paint on it and it just got this very soft, very um, subtle image. So anyway, that's what we've got for today. I'm going to take these and I'm going to continue playing with some of these prints and I'm going to continue playing with this technique of just adding the different colors and doing the rings and rings and we'll be back Saturday showing you how to put them together for a quick and easy super fun project that anybody can do. So thanks!